1886, the Toronto Conservatory of Music was founded and was originally at the corner of Young and Dundas Street. In 1947, King George VI awarded the conservatory its royal charter, thus the Toronto Conservatory of Music became the Royal Conservatory of Music. In 1962, due to a lack of space, the conservatory moved to 273 Bloor Street West, the original site of McMaster University. In 1991, the conservatory developed a master plan to renovate its historic building and expand it with the construction of new facilities on the same site. The plan was carried out by KPMB architects in stages and was completed in 2005. The designation of this site as a heritage building required the majority of the original materials, decorative red brick, Medina sandstone, and polished granite, as well as its wood staircase, be maintained, while complying with the building code. Although the new addition is quite large, its siding and massing does not overtake the original and not which hall. But instead, with its contemporary glass and steel architecture, it serves to create a transparent and accessible addition to the building. The Acropolis Museum was designed by architect Bernard Schumi in collaboration with Michaelis Fotiatis and associate architects. It opened its doors only 300 meters southeast of the Parthenon with an exhibition space of 1,400 square meters. The first floor is a glass floor gallery that reveals ancient remains that were excavated during the building's construction. The second floor contains a gallery of archaic and early classical statues. The choice of display caused curatorial dispute as the visitors might miss many important statues of the time. The top floor is the rectangular Parthenon Gallery. Arranged around an indoor court, the gallery display aims at orienting the marbles exactly as they replaced the Parthenon. The gallery itself has exactly the same dimensions as the cella of the Parthenon. The museum has been at the center of controversy since its conception. Neighbors have been complaining, values of surrounding houses have been raised, pros and cons have been expressed by curators and architects both on the museum design and the connection of the building to the general urban architecture.